In Brighton say the education system is failing their children because buses are too expensive to get to the schools of their choice. Families in Whitehawk are calling on Brighton Hove City Council to introduce free bus travel for children in the area. The council says they don't have the budget at this time. Louisa Pilgrim reports. Like many parents at this time of year, Dave needs to decide which secondary school his son Yayan should go to. But only one school in the area provides free buses, and that might not be the best school for him. If we go to our most close school, we've got a direct bus, we can apply for free transport, which is absolutely fine. But if we decide that school's not right for him, and we've got to send him elsewhere, then it incurs cost of about £30 a month and using public transport through the city centre. King School Hove was, was the school we chose and amazingly we got in and we're really happy with that. Um, but it costs to get there, it costs £116 for every three months. Now with our second child, um, we would like uh, her to go to that school as well. For families in Whitehawk who can't afford those prices, it means choosing a school because it's cheaper to get to. They formed a campaign group with the Crew Club Youth Centre to push for Brighton and Hove City Council to fund free buses to all schools in the city. Brighton and Hove City Council say that they are sympathetic to the request for free transport, but they cannot afford it at the moment. They say that they have recently been awarded £28 million of government funding to be spent over the next three years. They say they have asked the government if some of that money can be spent on reducing the cost of travel for young people, and they are waiting to hear back. One of the big challenges we've got here on the Whitehawk Estate is that there are high levels of socioeconomic deprivation. There will be parents here who are having to think first about how much will it cost me to get my child to secondary school or children to secondary school. The head teacher of the only primary school in the catchment area is not part of the campaign, but says the bus service in Whitehawk is giving some pupils added challenges which could affect their education. What we've noticed is that children are having to make quite tricky journeys to school, either um, earlier than would be necessary for school is in walking distance um, or on multiple bus routes, um, some of which aren't especially safe, particularly in the uh, colder, darker months. For children like Yayan, the quality of their secondary education may depend on what decisions are made. Louisa Pilbeam, BBC Southeast Today, Whitehawk.